Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys with a Vainglory episode, guys. We are going to be doing a character breakdown of my favorite character, Cruel, the Jungle Warrior. We're going to start off this map by uh, selecting our Spectral Smite ability. That's the second ability. Um, it is used to heal yourself as well as do critical strike damage on enemy characters. Um, Cruel, as you can tell from the title of the video, is a jungle warrior, guys. He hangs out in the jungle. That is where he is best fit. We're going to go ahead and head over to our fourth set of minions, the furthest one away from our starting base, so that we can save as much time as possible. You don't want to wait too long in this game to make moves or attack or anything like that because wasting time is wasting money and wasting experience, which is wasting levels. So we're going to go ahead and start off down here and just get to work on these guys. You can see that skull forming above the minions and those little dots appearing, the flaming dots around it. Those are my stackable points that I get. And when I use my second ability right there, it heals me depending on how many points I have and it deals a critical strike damage to them. Now, as you level that ability up and you gain more weapon damage and things of that sort, it does more damage and it heals you more. He's a very, very fun character to play and can be very, very frustrating to opposing heroes, which is why I love him. You can see we're going to use that ability once again and it almost takes him out. I am only level one, so it's not that strong at this point. We're going to go ahead and fast forward here though and show you what jungling looks like. Guys, so it's very important to be effective and efficient with jungling. You can see that I've built a path and I follow it until I level up um, or until somebody in the lane needs help. So it may get a little bit uh, tiresome or repetitive down here, but eventually you can head down here to the store. I'm going to buy a gun and some boots, and I'm going to head up to the lane and sit in these bushes. And Cruel, when he sits still for three seconds, gains a speed boost, which also slows down the enemy target. You can see Nick up there in the lane. He's about to shoot off one of his abilities that is going to light a fire and slow down that Ringo. I'm going to come out, get two points on him, and use my Spectral Smite and take him down. It's going to heal me and it's going to cause some critical damage. That is a great way to play Cruel, guys, especially if you're playing with someone you know. Just like here we go again. I'm going to come on up. I'm going to wait. They think I'm down in the jungle. They have no idea. Nick is still up there with Scarf and our Catherine is in the lane. He's going to drop that down. I'm going to come out, get a couple hits on him, use my ult ability, which is called From Hell's Heart. It is going to stun the saw right there and I'm going to get many, many points uh, that are stackable and I'm going to use my Spectral Smite again and do a lot of damage to that saw, guys. And then I'm heading back into the jungle to just continue jungling. Again, we're going to come up around this way. I see this saw right here and we are going to go ahead and use our first ability on him, the Dead Man's Rush. That gives me kind of a uh, health barrier. He starts to do a push up there for some reason and I crit him with that Spectral Smite once again, guys. He is a beast. We're going to go ahead and head out. I'm just going to tap Ringo right there, scare him, and then I'm going to be a little sneaky right here and head back in and around the jungle. You'll see what I end up doing. Um, we're just playing around in the middle right now, um, <clears throat> taking out these minions, but I'm going to head right back into the jungle right here and just wait for a second because I know that Ringo's right there, and even though that turret is there, I'm not too worried about it because we can just rush out one and done. Right there, we take him out, and then I just run off again. So Cruel's really good, guys, um, especially just playing in the jungle with him, leveling up, and then if you're playing with a friend, talking to him on Skype, or if you just get used to their player style, or if you're just paying attention to the mini-map, you can see that you can go back up um, and help them out. So Nick calls out right there and says, hey, come up, I think we can get him. Uh, he heads back because he's low on health. I see both of them out there, and I sit here and wait for a second and realize that now that Nick is gone, we're not able to do it. So I'm just going to come down here and get a heal boost from this minion once again. Remember, it's the one with the green ring around it. You can see it right there, healing me um, every second. I didn't even have to use any of my abilities, and I am healing up. So I see in the middle of the map uh, that there is an enemy over here. Uh, there's actually two of them, so I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> jump back and forth here and be very, very patient, guys. Patience is such a big thing in this game. I call out to Nick, and he comes down with Scarf, and we are going to do some serious damage as they try and take out Gold Miner. We're going to rush right there on that Glaive and take him out. I'm going to stun him once again with From Hell's Heart, which is where I pull out that sword. And then I'm going to chase down this Ringo, I believe it was, but I'm not going to be able to find him. Now we're going to move back up to the lane. I'm just going to step out real quick and say see ya to Saw. And once again, guys, just head right back into the jungle and get back to farming. So it works really good using your first ability and then your second ability. That's Dead Man's Rush, guys, because it stuns them a little bit. And then your Spectral Smite because it does such good amounts of damage. You can see that stackable. I didn't even have to use it there. I tapped it, but it didn't go off because he was already dead. 
So we're just continuing working around the jungle, guys, getting kills, um, getting gold so that we can level things up and whatnot. All right here, once again, just coming over to this minion, not for a heal boost this time, but it is very important to remember that they are down there, guys, so that you can get a heal if you need to. Even if you're about to go into battle, you can take him out and get a little heal buff as you run up to fight. So I'm going to sit here in the bushes and see this glaive over here. We're going to hit him once, twice, and he's going to run away. I don't have my ult or my From Hell's heart available, so I can't stun him. But we're not done with him yet because uh, I've been paying attention to his playing style and I know that he always comes right back. So I'm going to sit here in these bushes. You're going to see that he's going to walk away and he probably thinks that I went down into the jungle. Um, because this whole time I haven't wasted any time uh, in the lane too much. But he comes back out. We're going to sit there. We're going to go and stun him right there and then take him out with our Spectral Smite once again, guys. It is such a strong ability. It heals you really, really well. And the critical strike on it is crazy as you level it up. I always max that. I max my ult or my ultimate ability, which is the third ability. And I always get four dots or four points in my Dead Man's Rush. Again, guys, even at level 11, I'm working around through the jungle. It is very important to stay together when necessary um, and roll as a crowd. But we've been doing pretty good against this team. So um, I just go ahead and level up to 12. And I see that Catherine is over here. I'm going to go ahead and attack this Saw. And he is going to have no chance whatsoever. There goes Spectral Smite once again. It only has a 12-second cooldown at that level that I am at. So we're going to come out here, and I'm going to target Ringo because he's low. We are going to stun him right there. Watch this. This is sick. Use my boots. Take him out of town as that turret focuses me and get out of dodge, guys. Sometimes it is it is worth it to go after the kill even when the turret is there if you know you can um, if you know you know can get away. I have my boots cooldown on the bottom left, and I was able to use that to once again get away. Now here comes Ringo. We're going to take him out in literally like three seconds. I'm going to go ahead and stun him right there. Spectral Smite once again. Um, now, sometimes you do want to save your ult um, ability for bigger battles, but I just wanted to go ahead and get that kill so that we could get this minion miner and start pushing the lane. Because as you can see, we have our minion miner, now we have their minion miner, and both Scarf and Catherine are in the lane getting ready to do some work. So we're going to head on up here. I'm going to wait in these bushes until our minions get in front, then I'm going to pop out and we're going to start working on these turrets. And once again, you can see that skull above it, which shows my stacks. Um, we get 300 gold for that, but guys, it's very important to pay attention to those stacks, even if you're not playing Cruel. If you're being attacked by Cruel, you can watch those abilities above your head and see how many points are on you. I'm going to go ahead and use Spectral Smite. Once again, I thought he was down, but he was not. We're going to move on over to this uh, saw and just completely annihilate him right there with our From Hell's Heart. Um, our third ult ability. It does damage and stuns, but all I needed it for that time was some damage. We're going to head right over here to this glaive who is in the jungle hanging out in these bushes. Um, I was going to use my ability right there, just throw it off on him, get a stun on him. Nick comes down, and we are going to use that spectral smite. <clears throat> Still, I do have my dead man's rush right there, but sadly enough, I do not have my boots, and all of us are too slow for some reason, but I am able to take him out as the cooldown for spectral smite disappears. We're just going to take out these minions and then work our way down. As you can see, all three of us are together. We are going to go take out uh, their minion miner. I am going to go look for that glaive because I saw him come down here, and I know that those two can use that. So I'm going to head on over here, see if I can find that glaive, but I look up on the map and I notice that Saw is over there at the minion miner. So I'm going to head right over. Nick gets taken out by Saw's ult, which is a <laughs> ridiculous ability. I'm going to go ahead and stun him right there, use Spectral Smite, and get that kill. And then we are going to work our way back up to the top of the base. Guys, I hope that you all have learned a lot. We're going to have another kill in this video. Um, but definitely take all of this into consideration when playing Cruel and when playing against Cruel. We're going to go ahead and take out this Saw right there with that epic epic uh, from Hell's Heart, and then I'm going to leave you with that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and as always, keep calm and play on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace!